Hello everyone! In today's video we're going to talk about how to learn to read music. Now maybe you've just recently taken up an instrument or maybe you already know how to play an instrument but you're not so sure how to read the notes on the music that you're playing. Well today we're going to look at some simple ways that you can speed up the process of learning those notes. Learning to read music is a little bit like learning another language. It may seem difficult at first, but the great news is, is that the language of music translates to all different countries who have music written down as notation. So how is music written down? Well, here we have a stave. So a stave is five lines. And on each of these lines and in each of the spaces, we're going to draw a little circle. And that is where the notes sit. Although all sheet music has these staves, Different instruments use different clefs. Here is an example of the treble clef. Now the treble clef tells us that we need to read notes that sound high or higher. There are many instruments that use the treble clef because the instruments sound higher. And so we need the treble clef so that we can write music on that goes even higher to match the notes that the instrument can play. Some of the instruments that use treble clef are the recorder the violin, the flute, the clarinet, the saxophone. There are lots of other instruments too that use the treble clef. This is what we'll focus on today. How to read the notes on the treble clef. Well, just as when you were younger, you learned how to read English using phonics. You had to memorize what the different letters look like and how they sound. For example, here is letter A or A. You had to remember when you were little that when you saw that symbol, it meant a or a, depending what word it was in. And this is the same with music. We need to remember different symbols and where they appear on the stave, on each of the lines or in the spaces. Imagine the music is like a picture and you have to remember where all the different things are in the picture. There are two handy phrases that we can use to try and memorize these notes on the stave in the treble clef. So let's start with notes in a space. Notes that are drawn in a space in between the lines on the music. As you can see here, we have F, A, C and E, starting from the bottom. Now when you put these letters together, they spell the word face. So to help you remember the notes that are in the spaces, you can say face in a space, because it rhymes and it's very easy to remember that face in a space, F-A-C-E, starting from the bottom, because the lines from the bottom go one, two, three, four, five. So face in a space. And to help you memorize these, you could try saying the poem and pointing to the spaces, or you could get your instrument and try playing the notes along several times. See if you can play the word face on your instrument. Now the next little phrase to help us remember the notes on the line is one that I really like and it goes like this. Every green bus drives fast. Now I like to say every green bus drives fast on a line because if you think of a bus riding along a road it's almost like it's going along this line. Every green bus drives fast on the line and these notes are E, G, B, D, F. Every green bus drives fast on a line. Challenge yourself this week to try and memorize those two simple phrases. Face in a space. Every green bus drives fast on a line. Why is it important that we learn to read music and that we try and remember these little phrases and where the notes are? Well, once you learn to read music, you'll be able to play all your favorite tunes. Again, it's a bit like when you learn to read. Once you've learned all your letter sounds, you're able to read so many more books because you're able to decode what the word is. And so you're able to read so many more books because you already know what sound each letter makes. It makes it so much easier. And it's the same with music. Once you know how to read music, you'll be able to play so many different, different pieces. You'll also be able to play in a group with other people who can read music as well. Once you have two of your friends who can read music, you can meet up and play your instruments together and play through lots of different pieces. And you'll find that you'll progress on your instrument a lot quicker because you'll be enjoying it more because this whole new world of music is opened up to you. 
In our next video, we're going to be learning the little phrases for the bass clef if you play a low instrument. So watch out for that video coming in the next few days. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments box below. Happy practicing!